Hi everybody, so today I'm going to do a review of the Beyond Suffering Bible. So it tells us where struggles seem endless, God's hope is infinite. So this one is the brown and tan edition. So we can see on the background there that it's a really nice photograph. Up top, we've got an image of a person in a wheelchair with their arms outstretched. That kind of makes me think of the editor of this Bible. Here's our ISBN number. The retail on this one is $59.99. You can definitely find it for less online, and there will be a link in the description box. So up top here, we've got the editor. So we've got Johnny Erickson Tata. And then we've got an idea of what the layout's going to look like. So we've got when the pain and hardship seem overwhelming, we can be blinded to the beautiful realities often hidden in the passages of the Bible. So they designed this one here to highlight the goodness of God during life's hardest times. So I think they did a great job with that. Here are the features, which we will see on the inside. So we'll have a word from Johnny, which will be devotionals that show how to pursue God amid suffering. Profiles of Bible characters and contemporary Christians illustrate how to discover God's goodness during painful circumstances. Connection points offer thousands of study notes that specifically address suffering. Devotionals dig deep and tackle some of the toughest questions about suffering. And then book introductions orient readers to vital information and focus on key suffering and disability themes. So they did a really nice job on this Bible. So this one here measures out at nine and a half inches tall, six and three quarters inches wide, and it is an inch and a half thick. So I've got brown head and tail bands, nice gold gilding. The cover on this with the three tone looks really nice. So you can see kind of it gives it almost like a grain pattern look to it. But we've got the three colors, all the stitching. We've got it how it goes around that circle with the cross. I think that looks really nice. And then this lighter color tan wraps around onto the back as well. So on the spine we have Tyndale up top, then Beyond Suffering Bible, and NLT. So really a pretty Bible. I think they did a great job on the design of that. Then we're going to have a vinyl paste down liner. So this one here is a little card and it's got uh, some quick guides. So if you know anyone who's suffering with grief, disability, autism, or memory loss, it's going to have some quick guides that will give a description of the struggles, how to help, what to avoid, what to say, and then examples on Bible verses. So that can be really helpful. And then it says, you know, it's perfect for these particular groups here. So I think that's a great idea. So you might want to look into that. Then we get into our presentation page, which we're going to have that same image from the front of the Bible. And then we've got a really pretty page here, which is going to have a verse from Isaiah. So I really like the way that they did that. That looks really good. And we're going to get into our title pages. Here are a few other cover options, so if you'd like to take a screenshot of that. We're going to have all of our contents, which we'll see on the inside. Then we're going to have a letter from Johnny about this Bible here. Then we're going to have the user's guide, so it'll give you all the information on everything that we've seen on the back. We'll start off with an article, No Higher Calling. Then we've got some different reading plans. So the different reading plans on this, it's kind of neat because they're broken down into different categories. So we've got comforting those who mourn, growing spiritually through suffering, disability in the image of God. So like we've got a seven day plan on the one, five days on the other, seven days on this one here. So there's a lot of different reading plans that can you and you can kind of pick and choose where you want to start like if one is more pertinent to you then you might just want to start with that one so I like the way that they offer a variety of those we're gonna have a topical guide to all the features what's nice with that is like if we look under attitude here so it's gonna give us an introduction it'll give us the profiles the devotionals the connections and so it's nice that it tells you what they are and then where to find them. It gives you both the chapter and verse as well as the page number. So that can be handy if you wanted to 
just go find a particular topic, you can just go right to that. We'll have a note to the readers. We're going to have an introduction to the NLT, the contributors, and then this page is Johnny and Friends, which is a disability center that they do. So they offer like wheelchairs to those in need. They give Bibles to people in need. So really a great organization. So you may want to check that out. Again, that is Johnny and Friends. And then we get into the biblical text itself, which I somehow missed to mark that page. All right, so we get into the Old Testament. We're going to start with our introduction. So the introductions are all suffering and disability themes. So, for example, on Genesis here, we've got God created a pain-free world. Sin's consequences damaged all humanity. God promised the gospel as soon as sin entered the world. And God restored broken relationships. So I like the way that everything in this Bible is themed for suffering. So they did do a really good job on that. We've got a double column format. On here, we've got a lot of these little connection points in here. Some are small, some like this one's a little bit bigger. But all of our profiles and devotions are going to be a full page. The font in them is nice and readable. It's a nice large font. Here's one of our devotionals. A word from Johnny. But really nice the way that they've done these. And so if we look at the font in here, this Bible does have a really good print. So you can see right there that you're getting next to no ghosting at all. And there will be even less if we pull that page away from the other one. You can really see how nice the print is in that. It does have a 10 point font, so it's easy on the eyes. I like the way that they used blue for our chapters and our subject headings as well as on these other pages here. So the connection points are all small little snippets, easy to read, which is nice. The devotions are one page, but they're not overwhelming. It is easy to read those. We do have a ribbon marker. It is a double satin, so nice ribbon. Looks good with the color of the cover. So you can see that there's tons of these, and again, they are small, so makes it nice and easy to read those. We're going to get back to the end of the Old Testament. So we end with Malachi and there's not going to be anything between the Testaments. We just jump over to the New Testament. So we'll get in. We'll have an introduction to Matthew. Again, all suffering and disability themes on the introductions. We've got a profile on Mary and Joseph. We're going to have profiles on a lot of the people in the New Testament. So we've got one on John the Baptist, one on Nicodemus. So these are all nice to read. I enjoy these. Then we've got John, so the beloved disciple. Then another one of our devotionals. So again, they're not too big. They all reference scripture, which that I like. Then once we get into the back of the Bible, we end in Revelation. We've got a profile on Billy Graham. Then we get into all of the back articles. So we're going to have one on God's story of disability, a biblical view on the sanctity of life, why am I disabled, the constant distraction, so that's going to be one on living with chronic pain. Then we've got an innocent addiction. This one talks about how people that end up having an issue and how they very innocently end up being addicted to prescription painkillers. So that is a good one that affects a lot of people. How to be a loving friend to those affected by disability. Becoming a welcoming church. So God's urgent call to disability ministry. So this could be helpful for churches and pastors and ministers to be able to read that. We've got one on hope, heaven, our real home. Then we get back to our dictionary concordance. And all the print in this is all done really well. It's all nice size, so they don't jump down to a tiny print once we get to the concordance. So I do like that. And it is good size too. So and we're going to have all of our recommended resources. So it'll go over books, church resources, and curriculum. Here's the Johnny and Friends website. So if you wanted to check that out, 
So they do a lot of great stuff. And Johnny, like if you just went to to the search here in YouTube and you searched out her name, you can check out her story. One of the ones that I watched was called Treasures in Darkness. And it tells how when she was 17, she was in an accident, caused her to be a quadriplegic. So she is in a wheelchair and she just does amazing artwork. She paints with a brush in her mouth, just holding it in her mouth and just does gorgeous artwork. She's also got just a beautiful singing voice, but she does a lot of great things. And so her doing this Bible, I mean, because she has suffered herself, she understands. So she's done a great job on this. Then we're gonna have our maps. We're gonna have 14 full color maps spread out on 16 pages. So they are on a glossy paper so you can see the glare there, which that doesn't bother me. It doesn't really matter to me. And then we get into the gutter here. We can see all the stitching, so nice sewn binding. Now on uh, this one here, again, we've got the 10 point font, sewn binding, tons of great articles and stuff in this one and just a really good Bible. So if you know somebody who's suffering with any type of disability or ailment, this would be a great one for them. It would also be really good for caretakers. So it might help them with some more understanding, but really well done Bible. I thought it was interesting learning about the editor, Johnny Erickson Tata. So definitely check out some of her stuff and maybe watch her story here on YouTube. So again, this one is the Beyond Suffering Bible. There's the ISBN number. I will put a link in the description box. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day.